Give me that Taurus long stroke. Ah, ah, ah. Give me that Taurus long stroke. Ah, ah. <laughs> All right, what's going on, Taurus? All right, we're going to be doing your love tarot reading right now. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to this channel. Love to have you back. All right. Love message for Taurus. What's the overall energy? Right. Disappointment and frustration about something. Over maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Excuse me, guys. There's been some, like, some lies, some integrity that was lost here in this relationship. Someone's definitely troubled you. Mm -hmm. This uh, person was emotional and emotionally unstable. Like they were all like all over the place mentally. It just felt like you was on a roller coaster ride emotionally. This person would do reckless things. You would like question like what this person was like. Why this person thought this way, or why they were just so naive. You know they were conceited. They had a shallow ass personality. You know what I'm talking about. They probably look good. That's probably why you dealt with them. Or they had something that to offer, you know. Um, they just did things without having, you know, any any real thought of like the negative consequences that they would bring to the situation here. Um, they just, it just appeared just to go off of like freedom. They just wanted to be like free. Like they had a free spirit and like free spirits and relationships kind of leads to destruction. You know what I'm saying? You know, they might even be cool with having sex without commitments or feelings. You know what I mean? Let's get into your reading now. Let's get the emotions surrounding this connection. We'll start from there. We have regretful, inadequate, confused, lonely, worried, ashamed. All right, let's pull from the deck here in the tarot. Let's get into what's going on. Hmm. There may have been a fight. See these people outside? They seem like they're fighting, fussing, getting some kind of fussing, fighting. All right. There was something about this person's behavior, like when they went out and hung out with their friends, it brought out the, the worst side of them. Yeah, there was some misunderstandings too when it came to their what they did with their peoples. Their friends, their families. There were some arguments with y'all about situations that was outside of your relationship, even if it had nothing to do with another person. Mm -hmm. They may have had some friends that turned their back on them too, as well. The same friends that they're giving all their attention to, though. Yeah. They're probably right now feeling lonely. They're probably like doing things to take care of themselves. I don't think this person is taking this very lightly. What's going on here? I see they, they're thinking too as well about, you know, reaching back out to you, trying to let your guard down, trying to be with you again because they see you as their soulmate now. The person that neglected you in the past, that frustrated you and disappointed you with their crazy behaviors. 
feels like no stability there. What's going on with this Three of Cups? All right, they want to turn things around. Like, I did, like we didn't see that coming. They don't want to walk away from you. They know they did something wrong. They know they hurt you. Through some kind of third party situation or some kind of argument or something like that. This Ace of Cups. Any cards? All right. You may. You may feel. If your guys are not speaking, you may feel like this person was very pretty. This person may feel like, too, as well, um, you could have been some kind of star, celebrity, in the limelight, ran something. Everybody knew who you were. This person sees you as uh, being very, very beautiful. But for some reason, they feel defeated because they've always disappointed you. So the person wants to come towards you. But <clears throat> it may take them a minute. I don't know. They may come in defeated, defeatedly. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep talking about this person. Hmm. They have like a boring personality too, you know, like you felt like they were always up to doing things up to no good. This person could have blown things out of proportion. I don't know, man. I just feel like this person just wasn't on their best behavior. Or they weren't, like, meeting up to your standard. Like, you felt like this was a waste of time. Could be done with, uh, I got Cancer here, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Feels like, off the top of my head, I just feel like this person just, just didn't get you. Okay, so, I think I just came out of one of these cards, yeah. They just didn't get you. Throw that on their side. Hmm. This person, um, I'm getting this person here is feeling regretful for whatever that happened. And like ashamed of what they did, what they said to you. Like I said, y'all might not be speaking. I feel like when, if this person does come to speak to you, you're going to tell them straight up the reason why you did what you did, why you separated yourself, or why you cut them off, or why you did whatever you did. Yeah, because it made you feel unstable. Like, maybe you're the one always driving to their place, or maybe you're the one having to step out of what you are used to doing to can't, just, to, just to try to be with this person, just to try to see this person. Like you, you know, you did all you could. Like you would do most of the work. And by doing that, and somebody's not returning any of that, you start to feel like, man, you know, all I wanted was your attention. All I wanted was for you to care. So. Yeah, so you're losing passion. You feel like, Messing with this person is 
taken away from you in some sort of way, maybe financially, emotionally. So you're not manifesting it at this current time. All right. This person is going to message you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but but the offer is going to be a very very baby offer. It's not going to be the offer you want. You're going to feel like they're holding back. You might feel like they're holding back from you. Um, by them not speaking right now, but they're going to end up speaking to you. All right. How are they going to be when they come in? They're going to try to be honest with you. They're going to try to open up and spill their truth. They're going to be like, well, I didn't know that you were going to, I didn't know that this was going to hurt you. Maybe they felt justified by, you know, what they had said. But now that they see that you're not pursuing them like that, they can open up and try to talk to you, justify their actions, say that they want to move forward with you. Could be done with the Libra or Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus. All right. All right. So what's going on to the Swords? Of... So you ended it with someone that you um, saw a future with. So you might as may consider this. It's just that every time you're around this person, there's always some kind of issue surrounding this person's behavior, I believe. It's got you... I mean, you would be open to this, but it's just like every time you get around this person, this person always brings you down, brings your energy down. But some of y'all may consider it. All right. Some of you guys may decide to do the other thing, which would be to not forgive this person, make a choice to move on, and explore your other options. So, two different scenarios for two different groups. What about new? But does this person want you? Yes, they do. They're just not on your level. you're going to be taking care of your family more you're going to be moving away to calmer waters i haven't seen a person come in yet no major arcana yeah you're not playing the games anymore so i don't see anything new coming in right now i just see like you you know focusing on family or things that you love moving to calmer waters because this was kind of chaotic for you and just being on guard not trying to feed into anybody's games here and the other other cards here i feel like this person is worried they're going to be feeling lonely. But this person's going to come back with a state of confusion. They're not going to know exactly why they, why everything is the way it is. That's how manipulators are, but that's, you know, whatever. All right. Drink water and mind your own fucking business. Enough said. And with that being said, call upon the tarot gods and end this motherfucker right now. Or do what you want to do, Taurus. If you like this reading, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Love to have you back. Bye.